For the first time in eight years, Knoxville voters will elect a new mayor. Mayor Madeline Rojero has served two terms. A half dozen people are competing for that job in August in the primary, as well as the regular election in November. We've heard from a series of them in a series of interviews, and we continue that as well with Eddie Manis, who is a candidate for mayor. Eddie, good to see you. Thanks this so. is our last session, as, as it were, for this part of our our uh, coverage of this and we're going to deal with the city's culture. We're talking um, the homelessness, affordable housing and the economy. Let's start with affordable housing. We're seeing some strides. What do you expect to continue in an administration of yours? I definitely uh, expect my administration to continue with Mayor Rojero's uh, approach with affordable housing and designating uh, and continuing the affordable housing trust fund but also designating uh, maybe a committee to really look into those challenges as well. So I, I think that we will continue the affordable housing uh, the way that the mayor has uh, put that in place. And how about homelessness? She has held a roundtable discussion with lots of different partners trying to attack that problem. Where do you see that moving in your administration? You know, it's, homelessness is a, is a major challenge here, and, and I think that we should continue to treat our homeless with respect and, and compassion but we have to make progress. And I think that we have two things to really focus on. And, and the one thing is homelessness is a big challenge. And so focusing on our homeless veterans first and making sure we do not have a veteran that is homeless and living on our streets. And then on the other side, focusing on those individuals who have aged out of foster care. Uh, the fact that an 18 or 19 year old, specifically an 18 year old may be dropped off at the steps of CARM. Uh, they're on their way then to homeless for who knows how long. And I think attacking our homeless challenge on both ends of that and then working toward the middle, we can make progress. Do you feel like the housing first model is uh, the way to go? I think, I think we will continue housing first. Uh, I think we, you know, obviously we have some behavioral health challenges and, and working, I think, with our partners at Helen Ross McNabb and maybe KCDC on, on really trying to find more veteran housing and build more veteran housing. And then maybe uh, looking at a program that they use with a scholar house in uh, Kentucky is something we're looking at right now. All right, let's move to the economy. And I say that broadly, uh, no one's a bigger champion than the mayor of a city to say, hey, come move here, spend money here. What do you see as the importance of that role? Yeah, I've said from the very beginning, economic development and job growth is vital to the city of Knoxville. And I personally think the mayor leads the role in that, uh, that opportunity. And so really going out, recruiting companies to come here to stimulate our economy, but not only recruiting companies to come here, really working with our, our bright minds, our entrepreneurs that are already here and working with the University of Tennessee and the Anderson School of Entrepreneurship, really kind of growing those people here, saying, stay here, let us help you grow your company here. And But I do think that it's vital that the role that the mayor plays in economic development. Only about 20 seconds left, but you yourself have grown your own company. What has helped you and, and how could you translate that into helping others? I know the challenge is a business and you, you know, you don't just put a business in place and it goes and for 34 years I've done that and I know the ups and downs so I can speak that language. I know, you know, multi-million dollar company with a multi-million dollar payroll. I know what it takes. Mayor uh, candidate Eddie Manis, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks, John. Absolutely.